Saron X controller. Uh, I was given this sample uh, by Eric at Lunacycle to kind of test out and give you guys my uh, full review on and do a comparison. Uh, it looks pretty straightforward. Uh, plug and play install. I see three uh, connectors here for the harness and we're going to have the motor connections down below there. I think aside from that it's going to be fairly straightforward so with that uh, we'll dive right into it. Alright guys so the first thing I did was get the bike upside down. Uh, pretty easy to do. Gives you great access to this whole area here. Um, take the battery out first to make it safe to work on electrically and also to make it easier to flip the bike over. That's pretty smart. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is just take off this bash guard uh, to make things easier to access and just to kind of get out of the way. Uh, using a five millimeter Allen, there's only four bolts. Uh, super easy and uh, worth taking the time to do. So we'll do that real quick before we move on. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, using a four millimeter Allen and a Phillips screwdriver, we're gonna take off this plastic shield here. Uh, pretty straightforward, just two Allens on each side and two Phillips. All right, so next we're gonna pull the uh, four main support bolts for the controller itself. Uh, these two are four millimeter, these two guys are three millimeter. So we'll do that right now. All right, so after you pull the plastic cover off, you're gonna see two more bolts here to pull, and these are gonna be four millimeter Allens. Let's pull these guys out. All right, at this point, the controller is loose, as you can see here. Um, it is hard to pull out because the power leads from the battery come down to here and these from the motor come up to here. So you're kind of bound by those. So what's gonna be easiest to do, let me move the camera here one sec. Yeah, what I'll do here is just pull this up a little bit, rotate it, just to give me access to these two guys here. Once those are off, it should be easy to pull this out. And these are five millimeter um, Allen connections. So again, pretty straightforward. And there's not too much torque on these, nor should you torque them too much going back in. So we'll just get these out pretty easy here. Once these guys are off, uh, this is much easier to move around. Um, let me get a better angle here so you can see what's going on. Alright, so what I'm finding is that the three connectors here are up behind this plate and I can't get to them the way it is now. So what I'm going to do is there's two bolts back on the underside here. I'm pulling those out, it's going to get rid of this guy here, get him loose. Once that's loose, we should have easy access to those harnesses, so I'll do that right now. And you can't miss these two down below, uh, just four millimeter, and they're right here on the underside. So those bolts are out. This guy's up, and there we go. This is out of the way now, and bingo. Easy access. So I'll go ahead and unplug these right now and uh, see what that gets us. All right, well, now that that's done, all we have left is just to pull these last three motor leads. And uh, they are marked yellow, green, blue. So you shouldn't mess that up um, in any case. Make sure they go back the same direction, of course. Get those pulled off real quick. And with that, everything's off. So now we're just gonna kinda do the same thing backwards and put it back together. Uh, I'm not gonna videotape all that because it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, one thing that's important to remember when you put this back together, um, this little box you took off to get these harnesses out, this is actually the tip over switch. Make sure this guy is in there level and straight and this little box isn't messed up or off center or it could cause you problems. It is on a, a small rubber mount. It is kind of moving around a bit. 
So make sure everything's tucked up nicely. This box is in a good spot um, before you cinch it all back up. And yeah, reverse progress. Let's put it back together and uh, see how it goes. All right, so guys, before I went to go put the uh, new controller in, I wanted to put the both side by side on the bench and kind of compare them. I noticed one thing that's worth mentioning that's important to you guys. The old controller, one of these three harnesses, you can see they both have yellow plugs and black. One is connected to a blank. Um, it, it's nothing. It has no purpose, no function. Um, that's plugged into this guy. On the new harness, so you got the two big ones like you do here. And this small guy is actually a triangle shape, not a square. And there's no plug attached to this. Um, it has no purpose for the moment. That's probably just a plug for... I guess future uh, ideas or options that Saron has, but for now, leave that guy unplugged. It does nothing, and don't worry about it. I'll probably just tape it up so it's not a open connector, and I'll move on. All right, so here we are. Uh, X controller reinstalled, back on the bike. All is well, uh, ready for some test rides. So I'm gonna go do some uh, initial impressions, and then I get a buddy together with my other stock bike. And we're going to go do some comparisons side by side with the stock controller versus the X controller. So uh, stay tuned.